Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers, I'm going to say Exodus. Numbers 28. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, Jewish, and say unto them, My offering and my bread, that would be the show bread, for my sacrifices made by fire for a sweet savor unto me, shall be observed to offer unto me in their due season. So we've got all these feasts of the Lord. You can't come in and say, well, I'm... The seventh month, the eighth day, I'm going to bring the Passover. You can't do that. It has to be its proper time. And thou shalt say unto them, This is the offering made by fire, the brazen altar, which ye shall offer unto the Lord, no others, two lambs of the first year without spot, day by day, for a continual burnt offering. Now with the Jewish calendar daily, at least 720 lambs a year. Just for this one right here. It's going to say one lamb shall thou offer in the morning. <clears throat> the other lamb shall thou offer at evening. So right there. If they did properly through the whole year. Every year. Because there's no leap year in the Jewish calendar. 30 days according to the lunar, the moon, would be 720 lambs a year. 360 days. One lamb shalt thou offer in the morning, <clears throat> type of second advent. The other lamb thou shalt offer at the evening, type of church age. And a tenth part of an ephah of flour. So it's a measurement of flour for the meat offering. And we went through Leviticus. That meat offering is the flour. Mingled, mixed with a fourth part of a hin of beaten oil. There's the Holy Spirit. There's Jesus Christ, Isaiah 53. Oil would be the olive oil, and that would be beaten. And that olive oil is a type of, of the Holy Spirit. It's what gives light inside the holy place. It's a continual. You do it constantly. Burn offering, which was ordained in Mount Sinai, Exodus 20, 21, 22. For a sweet Savior, it smells good, a sacrifice. Made by fire unto the, unto the Lord. Now what's the sacrifice? You have to give up one of your lambs. You have to give up the other lamb. You have to do the work. Time. The resource of the lamb itself. And then the flower. Sacrifice is giving. For God so loved the world that he gave. And that given is Jesus Christ. Our sacrifice. And the drink offering. Thereof shall be a. Fourth part of a hen for the one lamb in the holy place shall thou cause the strong wine. Ooh, there's strong wine to be poured unto the Lord for a drink offering. And it says in the holy place, that's where the table, the incense altar. The candle says, it doesn't tell you where it's to be, it says to be poured out in the Lord. I don't know where it goes. It just leaves it open. It says, four part of him for the one lamb in the holy place, thou shalt cause a strong wine. See, somebody would want to drink it. You pour it out before God. Maybe just on the ground. It would be holy ground if it's a holy place. And the other lamb thou shalt offer at even, night 6 p.m., 
You got 6 a.m. You got 6 p.m. As the meat offering of the morning, verse 5, <clears throat> as the drink offering thereof, thou shalt offer it, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. So this morning lamb, this, this evening lamb, the 6 a.m., the 6 p.m. lamb, it's the same offering, just a different time. And this was to go on every day. And on the Sabbath day, all right, well, we're not supposed to do any work on the Sabbath day. And they always pestered Jesus and disciples about the Sabbath day. Oh, you're supposed to rest. You can't carry your bed. You can't be rubbing, you know, corns between your fingers. This is the Sabbath day. Well, let's look. And on the Sabbath day, two lambs of the first year without spot and two tenths deal of flour for a meat offering, mingled with oil and a drink offering thereof. So even on the Sabbath day, the day of rest, in the tabernacle, in the temple, the priests are offering that morning lamb and that, morning, and that evening lamb just as much as any other day. Seven days. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, besides the continued burnt offering and his drink offering. So when Jesus answers them, he says, listen, don't you go out and get a lamb? Don't isn't there like an animal that's stuck in the pit? Don't you pull him out? Don't you take them out to be watering? Don't you gather two lambs on the Sabbath to bring them in sacri sacrificing? You do work. In the beginning of your months, the new moon, the first day, ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord. Two young bullocks and one ram. And seven lambs of the first year without spot. All right, this is the first day of every month. With the lamb in the evening and the lamb in the morning. So there's more than 720 lambs every year being offered. Here, every first, so you would add 12 times seven lambs to 720 if you were to do it every year correctly. So 12 times 7 is 84. 84 to 720, you would now have 804 lambs a year. And two young bulls. And you figure out you, the number gets just very huge with these animals. One ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot. <clears throat> these lambs would be no spotted, pure color, no bruises. And several tenth deal of flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. Now, verse 5 for that daily, it said beet and oil. This one just says oil. Mingled with oil for a meat offering unto one lamb. So well, there's 12 of them. Yes, there's seven lambs. Excuse me. For every one lamb, there's seven of them. You've got to do it seven times. For a burnt offering of a sweet savior, a sacrifice made by fire, the altar, the brazen altar, unto the Lord. This is what's going on every day. This is what's going on the first of the month at that brazen altar. So when the people come, start coming to the tabernacle, there's already been a lamb sacrificed on that brazen altar. The smell of that lamb would be would be cooking. <clears throat> and their drink offering shall be half a hen of wine unto a bullock. And there were two young bullocks. And a third part of a hen unto a ram. And a fourth part of a hen unto a lamb. So there's different amounts for the, for the animal. They're not all the same. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. And there's 12 months in the Jewish calendar. So you would add 12 to the calendar, the months, and then figure it out with the multiplication. You'll see how many other animals at a minimum. There's a minimum two lambs a morning and night, and there's a minimum at the first of every month, what we just read here, verse 9 to 15. <coughs> Excuse me. One kid goat of the goat, one kid of the goats for a sin offering. So here's a goat being offered as a sin offering. And the Lord shall be offered unto the Lord it shall be offered besides a continual burnt offering. 
verses 3 through 8. And his drink offering. Okay, another, another paragraph. Talking about the year. And in the 14th day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. So here's another sacrifice season. And I don't know if anybody's ever got this work out. If they were properly to do the, the 360 days, the 12 months, I wonder how many of these animals would have been killed within a year. And I'm not counting the people who brought it off. I'm talking about all the uh, the Day of Atonement, the, the Passover, the Feast of... Yeah, you, you just imagine somebody would sit down and figure this out. If the nation, this is safe for the one year, did everything like they're supposed to. And then when you get over Hebrews, it said not of the bull of the of the bulls or goats, but the blood of Jesus Christ without spot. It says the precious blood. Even though they don't have a spot, blemish, they may do because they got blood. And there's something wrong with our blood today. <clears throat> It's been cursed. It's under the ground. They eat the, the cursed food from Genesis 3. The 15th day of this month, the first month, is a feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. All right, this is the feast of unleavened bread. This this congregates that when they got out of Egypt, they grabbed their dough. They were unable to put leaven in their dough. And they put the, it says they put it in, in the, over their shoulders with the kneading troughs. In the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which is a week, <clears throat> shall be a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work therein. Now that's where America wants. America solely puts her holidays where they don't have to go to work and they don't even realize that comes right out of the bible i mean of all the stupid days in america to have a day off is labor day uh duh, you would think labor day is the day that you labor in these holidays holy days of the lord is you're not doing no work don't go to work and america changed it they put the holy into a holly with a Y. Changed to an I. Yeah, these ones are worshiping the Lord. Yeah. And nowadays you're worshiping yourself. Worshiping your nation, dead person. You know, it's always funny. You know, it's this guy's birthday. Well, he's dead. He doesn't use them no more. And we only have one birthday. Well, here is before God. And Passover is one of those holidays you had to go to when it's established in Jerusalem. Right now it's not Jerusalem. You shall do and no man of servile work there. And that's one of the problems the Jews had. They worked. And that's what caused one of the sins of Babylon to come. That God got angry. They worked on the Sabbaths. But ye shall. Ye shall offer a sacrifice made by fire, the brazen altar, for a burnt offering unto the Lord. All right, this is the first day of unleavened bread. Ready? Add this to it. Two young bullets. One ram. And seven lambs of the first year. They shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offerings with shall be flour mingled with oil. Remember, that's the meat offering. Flour and the oil. The only thing that differs is how much flour. Three tenths deal shall ye offer for a bullock, and two tenths deal for a ram. So the flour, the meat offering is not the same amount for all the animals. And there's probably a study about Jesus about that too. A several tenth deal shall thou offer for every lamb. I don't know what a several tenth deal is. We see two tenths. We see three tens, but it's several. I don't know what number several is. Offer for every lamb throughout the seven lambs. But the priests had to know. Because if they didn't offer that, that specific amount, God would burn them up. Did you realize that? I think it means you put a tenth deal with each animal. That's seven tenths. Seven tenths. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Yeah. It worked. 
one goat for a sin offering. So here's a goat for a sin offering. This is the first day of the feast. There's seven days to make an atonement for you. That would be Leviticus 16.30. <clears throat> Each shall offer these besides the burnt offerings in the morning. Verses 3 through 8. So on the first day of the, of the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, that priest gets up before 6 a.m. to make sure by 6 a.m. that lamb is on the fire like it's supposed to be. I don't know how long, how long it took him to prepare it, but in the morning. Now you got going on later on, you got the people bringing their lamb and their bullocks. And at 6 p.m., that other lamb with what we already offered is going to be on the brazen altar at evening. <clears throat> One goat for a sin offering to be make atonement for you. You shall offer these besides the burnt offering in the morning, which is a continual burn, burnt offering every day. After the manner ye shall offer daily throughout the seven days, the meat of the sacrifice made by fire. All right, this is the seven day, all every day of this feast, this is what you're to do besides the continual offering, which is the two lambs every day. Of a sweet savor unto the Lord, it shall be offered besides the continual burnt offering. This offering, what we just read, for seven days, including those two lambs. And don't forget the first day of the month offering. And don't forget the 14th day, that lamb, for the Passover. And then the 15th day, which goes to the 21st, you got them seven days you have to do. It was busy. The first more first month of the fourteenth day. Wait till you get to the seventh day when you got three or four different feasts going on. Listen, that tabernacle, that temple, doing right by God, it was active. There is just smoke and fire and washing and priests going in and doing. After this man shall you offer daily throughout seven days the meat. For the sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor to the Lord, it shall be offered besides the continued burnt offering and his drink offerings. Don't forget the drink offerings. And on the seventh day, all right, the seventh day of this holiday, holy day, ye shall offer a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. There ye shall do no servile work. That's slave or servant work. And in the day of the first fruits, here's another feast. When you start picking your harvest, when you bring a new meat offering unto the Lord, new means what came out of your fields. <clears throat> After your weeks be out, harvest, you shall have an holy convocation, assembly, Convocation means assembly. Everyone gathers together. You shall do no servile work. After you've done all the work of the, of the first harvest and all that, take a break. But you shall offer the burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord. All right, here's what you bring. Two young bullocks, one ram, seven lambs. That's a lot of work of the first year. And their meat offering, a flour mingled with oil. Three tenths deal for one bullock, two tenths deal unto one ram. Several tenth deal unto one lamb throughout the seven lambs. One kid of the goats to make an atonement for you. That's kind of funny because when you read that kid of the goats in verse 15, it said sin offering. But over here it says just make an atonement. It's not mentioned as a sin offering. But usually that atonement goes with the sin. And you shall offer them beside the continuing birth. So even on the, 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 the first fruits, you come to, to the Lord, and you bring your offering to your first fruits. Don't forget that lamb in the morning. Don't forget that lamb at night. And his meat offering, verses 4 and 5 and 6, they shall be unto you without blemish. Now look at that little parenthesis. That we're, we're talking about verses three through eight. We were over, we're at the end of the chapter, and God throws in there. You better make sure those lambs are without blemish. 
God, you're going to want us to provide 720 lambs. You're going to want us to examine the, each of those lambs every day. You better do it. <laughs> One mess up. This ass nay happened to buy who. <laughs> And their drink offerings. And he closes like that. Now, let me ask you a question. Because there are churches. And I'm not good for. I, I'm going to say five mile circles of this church. Out of this house. There are churches that are putting you under the law. And I guarantee the Seventh Day Adventist Ian Baptist. I guarantee they have not done what we just read about. How do you know that? Because. Please eat tasty animals would be very upset that these animal sacrifices would be going on today. And yet we know that the law is coming back. We know there's going to be a temple because the Antichrist is going to see in the most holy seat, that mercy seat or whatever is going to be in there because it's in heaven right now. Not for Jones to find. <clears throat> And this is coming back. And I've got to wonder because there are people upset for somebody who, and I'm not for mistreating animals, but if somebody does something wrong to a dog, man, they want capital punishment. The animal lovers don't realize that what we just read is coming back. And if you're going to put yourself under the law in the church age, and you don't do this, where God gives us apprenticeship, it better not be blemished. Man, according to your own thing, you're dead, you're going to hell because you're not doing it. Now let me tell you about somebody who's in the church age under grace. I'll take the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. All the sin. By confessing and that God is able and just to forgive me my sins by the Lamb of God. The precious land, without spot, without spot, no blemish, holy, righteous. I'll trust him to take care of my sins and and to please God by his sacrifice upon Calvary once for all. Once for all. Don't have to do it every day. Those lands being burned in the morning, Jesus Christ said, no, no more. I took care of it. Those holy holidays, you got to do it for... Jesus says, nope, it's all done. I took care of it. How do you know that? Because this is not going on in Jerusalem today after since Jesus has been dead. Since 70 AD, God said, that's it. It's done. It's upon Jesus Christ. 